Hello, insiders. This is Todd, and today I have a great guest, Jenny, who's come back on the show to share some insights about our unlisted video review pilot uh, that's been running for a while. If you're new to the channel and you've never heard of the unlisted video review, we have an interview below about uh, an earlier time Jenny came on uh, that you can check out. But in the meantime, welcome back, Jenny. Hey, Todd. Great to be here. So uh, maybe you could start off by just uh, telling us a little bit about Unlisted Video Review, just a quick synopsis to catch up our viewers in case they've forgotten about it. What is this all about? Absolutely. So Unlisted Video Review, or UVR for short, uh, is a program that works with creators to better understand uh, if there are any issues that could impact their videos before they go live. So creators that are in the program have the opportunity to send us a video unlisted. We then take that video and review it by our monetization team, our community guidelines team, and our search and discovery team to see if there's anything that could potentially cause um, impact on the video. So for example, a yellow icon or an age restriction. Um, what we then do is if there is something that does pop up, the team drafts a diagnosis and sends that to the creator so they know exactly what uh, was the cause of the issue that could be causing uh, a problem for the video. That sounds like really helpful information for creators. So um, is this open to everyone or how, t tell us more about how to get into the pilot. Yeah, absolutely. So we've been around for about a year. So we're still a small pilot. Um, and if you are interested, definitely comment below. Uh, we do have a set of criteria to make sure that we're helping creators that are experiencing these issues the most, um, and that also we can learn from so that the whole YouTube community can benefit from their participation in the program. Great. So um, it seems like you've been, uh, as you've been going through this pilot, you were telling me earlier that there's some themes that you see recurring where creators may be struggling to fully understand some of the nuances of the policies. And um, what we wanted to do here is talk about some of those so that even for those creators that who aren't in the program, they can benefit and, and learn about some of the things that may trip them up for monetization or, or, or other issues. So what, what's uh, some of the themes that you're seeing in this program? Absolutely. So as you said, you know, big goal here, is to learn from the creators that are in the program, find these themes and then share them broadly with the whole YouTube community so that uh, other creators can learn from some of the insights that we found. So the first one that I wanted to touch on um, are actually prank videos. Uh, we've gotten a fair number of prank videos uh, submitted to the program, submitted to UBR. And what's important to know about prank videos is that Pranks involving um, emotional distress are where you can run into some issues with monetization. Um, so while it might not seem like, oh, a funny prank video could run into issues, um, if there's anything that could cause um, sustained emotional distress, such as a physical altercation or an abusive language or something like infidelity or a false pregnancy, these types of situations um, can cause emotional distress for someone involved. And that actually is not eligible for monetization and would therefore result in the yellow icon. So big important thing to know, if you're planning a prank video, um, think through if there could be sustained emotional distress, what that looks like, and definitely check out our super detailed um, policy on this um, in the Help Center, which we'll put in the link below. I see. So advertisers don't really want to be capitalizing or associating themselves with people who are in emotional or physical distress. Okay, I get that yeah. one. Um, what's another uh, theme that you're seeing? Yeah, so uh, one other common theme that we're seeing is actually discussions of sexual experiences. So we've had a few UVR creators that have come to us with content that goes into uh, discussion of different sexual experiences, whether this is a story time video or a uh, you know comedic video, um, things like this that have the creator explaining a sexual experience that they've had can definitely run into issues with monetization. So when it comes to discussions that feature personal sexual experiences, 
for example, how I learned to do something um, or my first time doing something, um, these will be yellow icon. Um, the kind of sexual content that can see green icon is uh, sex ed videos that don't discuss personal experiences. Um, so I think the big question here to ask yourselves um, and what we've been telling unlisted video review creators to ask themselves is whether or not the primary goal of the conversation is to entertain um, or to educate uh, and kind of staying away from personal experiences if monetization is your goal. So if you really want to get uh, sexual topics monetized, you really kind of have to uh, approach it more like a textbook sex ed approach as opposed to like storytelling and and more of a personal angle. Any other themes that you're seeing? Yeah, so one last big theme that I want to touch on is the importance of context. Um, one thing that, that we've come across with a lot of our creators is that context is super important. Um, and it's particularly important when we're talking about graphic content. So even if something is what we would call EDSA, so um, educational, documentary, artistic, um, or scientific, um, the context that you can give around this um, can allow you to post content on YouTube. So for example, um, if you had a video posted by a journalist capturing footage of protesters and it's maybe violent protesting, um, that would likely be allowed if it includes the relevant context. So, for example, here relevant information could be, you know, a list of tips at the beginning of a video about how to stay safe while protesting or a voiceover about protest history, um, things like that. And the video should always have a clear title and description indicating that it's reporting, documentary, that, that educational component. Make sure you keep those things in mind. And how does that play into the monetization aspects? Yeah, so context also does matter for monetization. It's not a black or white rule. So um, in some contexts, contextualized uh, insights are really important. But in others, um, it's having that context still can make something not monetizable if it's a particular sensitive topic. Okay, so... Um... Creators that are interested in, in joining the pilot, I understand it's pretty limited, but occasionally we do have some spots open up. Uh, what should they do? Comment below. All right. While you're down there, you might as well like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, before we go, do you have any questions that you want to ask uh, the viewers of this channel? Yeah, so I would love to, um, in addition to commenting if you're interested in the program, um, if there are topics or insights that you would uh, like more information on from uh, the creators in UBR's standpoint, let us know. I mean, today we talked about you know sexual experiences and importance of context and also pranks, but if there's other things that um, you would like to hear, you know, how the UVR creator experience has been, um, other topics that you want more insights in, definitely let us know in the comments below. One, one question I've heard from some creators is when they're trying to comply with the policies, they will say, oh, well, uh, I know this other video, they had violence or talked about their sexual experience, and that didn't get the yellow icon. I see ads on it or, you know, similar, similar comments like that. Um, how, how, how would you answer to, to those questions? Yeah, it's a great question. So I, the way that I would answer that is just becomes, because someone's speeding and doesn't get a ticket doesn't mean that they're not violating the speed limit. So while we try to enforce and are constantly working on improving um, the accuracy of our enforcement on these policies, um, there are going to be times when uh, violative content, you know, we miss um, and those can slip through the cracks. However, you know, it's the goal of this program and, you know, so many other efforts to make sure that uh, we are improving um, the accuracy of our uh, enforcement and the policies that we do have. Um, and programs like this are actually allowing for us to do that. So we are finding insights from policies where maybe we have seen 
a lot of misses um, and being able to improve that for the whole creator community. Great. Well, thank you for sharing these insights um, that can benefit all creators, even if they're not in the program. Um, so we'll check back with you hopefully in a future video, get some more insights. In the meantime, check out the uh, links we put in the description to more information. And otherwise, keep it real.